So listen, I don't really want to do an intro. I just want to let you guys know that I'm here to tell you about the best jump shot in NBA 2K21 on PS5 or Xbox Series X. Now I know what y'all thinking. Yo, everybody come out with these videos all year long. What's really the best jump shot? You're lying. Listen, all I can tell you is the reason why I say this is the best jump shot is because it works in every mode that has to do with my career. If you play in a wreck, it works for wreck. If you play in a city, it works in the city. If you play at the garages, the Black Lives Matter court, the Kobe court, Beast in the East, uh, Cell City, and the other two that nobody really, the Northern and Western, whatever. Wherever you play in my career, and especially my career, if you want to badge grind for shooting badges, this will be the best jump shot for you. Now, let me let you guys know something real quick. Let me go ahead and exit this. Um, I just want to, you know, shoot around for a little bit. But the reason why um, this jump shot works everywhere is because the meter has to be off. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys all my settings, everything that I have, why I have it the way it is. And by the end of this video, you will say, you know what? Dude is right. I am a casual. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that out there. I am a casual gamer. I'm not a comp dude. I don't play, I never really play stage at all unless it was for a funny moments video or we just wanted to go there to get our heads busting real quick. But I do play a lot of rec. I haven't played that many part games. I played a little bit early on in this game, but I've played a lot more rec than any. So I'll show you guys my stats there, whatever the case may be, just to show you guys that I do actually play this game. You want to come over to options. You want to make sure your controller settings is right. So first and foremost, vibration, turn that off. Trigger effect, turn that off. Every single time you load into the part, make sure all three of these are off. Shot meter, trigger effect, and vibration. Turn them off. You don't need them. Your perfect release, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I haven't seen anything different besides the one that's already equipped. I turn it on all the different ones all the time and nothing really happens. As far as shot timing, you only want to have it on shots only. The reason why I say that is if you have timing on layups, these very late is in your future. These very early is in your future. Turn that timing off so it doesn't just stress you out. Shot aiming. All my Zen people out there, whoever you are, leave me alone. Turn that aiming stuff off. You know what I'm saying? If you if you really buy this timing, use your time and that's it. Aiming all for the free throw, everything, right? Everything that I use is on absolute, mainly because I play on the 2K camera. When the game first dropped, you can only play on broadcast to take away the jitter in the city. And I can't lie to you guys, it even made me feel bad. I put out tweets talking about I couldn't, it was unplayable, all kinds of stuff, but we're here now. You know, they've, they've dropped a whole bunch of different uh, patches, so we're good to go. Come over here to my player appearance. Yeah, we're, we're hopping right into it. I'm not even going go crazy in a long rant on about none. We're going to go right into the jump shot and we're going to talk about it, man. So come over to jump shot creator. Now I am going to build this from scratch mainly because I need to build this from scratch. All right. Because a lot of people are going to be like, Oh, he, all he did was just go to one of his jump shots and he renamed it and, and, and we're going to build it out. All right. So first and foremost, the base is base 98 base 98 has been a great jump shot base for going on almost three years now this base will probably carry you on to 2k22 now one thing about this base it does change from time to time so if you are a person that does not only set shoot if you shoot while moving you shoot after dribbling after a little rhythm dribble or something like that your base will change from time to time but we're not here to talk mainly about the base we're just here to let you know that that base is cheesy and it always has the best timing one of the biggest green windows if you want to get into all the technical things but basically you shoot off feel with this this is why we say turn the meter off so upper release you guys probably uh, know that I've been using this upper release for a couple years now, and it really, really works for me, and it hasn't ever faltered. The first upper release is Rudy Gay. Now, second release, uh, yeah, you guessed it, Rudy Gay. Everybody is different. Everybody has different cues that they look for, different timings that they look for. All you Trey Burke babies, I still love you. 
But to be honest, Trey Burke ain't really a next gen jump shot. Trey Burke was for last gen 2K21 on PS4. For PS5, 98 babies is running around here crazy. The thing is with Trey Burke's base, it's a great base, don't get me wrong. It's just that with Trey Burke's base, your uppers look a little weird because you're trying to look at the uppers, make sure his feet kick in, make sure he lands right. You're trying to look at all these cues when base 98 is just straight up and down, boom. And you just can focus more on the elbows and the wrists and where the ball is positioned when you're ready to let it go. Now, as far as release speed, I know what a lot of people out there say. Hey, if you keep it at 75% speed, you get bigger green windows and all of that, that's cool. But the only thing that I'm worried about is that every single person in this game jumps at you. N people no longer put their hands up. People no longer wait to see what a player is going to do high and behind that screen doing the curry slide. They jump at you because we are hitting 37% contested greens, 44% contested greens, 56% contested greens, 67% contested greens. Let me let you understand something. This is the easiest shooting video game that I've probably ever played from 2K. One of the easiest. I green so much. It's unreal. And the one thing that I see from a lot of other people that are greening like me is base 98. Now, as far as your uppers go, I'm a Rudy Gay guy. So if I want Rudy Gay, that's all I'm going to use all year. I'm not going to switch it up. I'm not going to try to learn a new jump shot to see if it's working. I'm not tweaking none of my settings. This is what I'm working with. It's hard for you to practice a jump shot if you just put the jump shot on and you go into a comm game. You know what I'm saying? You have to go into my career, get that straightened out first with the meter. Then you have to play another of my career game without the meter. Then you have to go to the park. You have to play threes. You have to be a corner sitter. Take the jump shot in the corner. Next game, take it at the wing. Then go ahead into the wreck. Go on fast breaks. Take threes on fast breaks. Get your timing down. You know what I'm saying? Go in there with a big. Let's say yo R1 L1 me or R1 square, R1 circle, R1 X. And you know the you know what it is if you're on Xbox. And just say, yo, throw me the ball on the break. I want to get my shot down. I'm gonna I want to work on my shot. And I'm telling you now, once you get it down, you're golden. So when it comes to release speed, I max it all the way out because people are jumping at you because they know that you're going to shoot. They know that everyone can shoot and they know that it's a highly like likely chance that they're going to get greened on in their face. So everybody's jumping at you. So if you have one of the best bases in the game with great uppers that you like at the fastest speed, you can see the jumper you're golden. Now, as far as animation blending go, Honestly, you don't need to blend this, but I do this for my own OCD effect. I always put any jump shot that I have, whether it's Curry Curry, Rudy Rudy, uh, Wade Wade, like uh, Burke Burke, it don't matter. I always put it at 50 50. I think I might have OCD. I don't know, but I do that because it works for me. Okay, it works for me. Now, um, I don't have to save this, but I have named it the best jump shot. And all I got to do is go in here. I can edit jump shot and you guys will see this is my jump shot. This is my jump shot. If you're having any trouble with shooting, this is the one now big ass disclaimer. Yeah, I said it big ass disclaimer. If you are a center or a power forward and you happen to make your build 610, and you want it to shoot and you want it to go lights out crazy, delete the build. You want your build to be six, nine and under in order to unlock all of the good bases in a game, as well as the release speeds. When you're a center and you're above six, 10 and above, they automatically lock your release speed and they do not give you some of the best bases in the game. Now there is a glitch out there where I don't know. I'm not sure if 2k passed it yet, but there was a glitch where if you were a center, you were able to put some type of uh, base on and it would glitch up and you can get a couple good bases like Trey Burks. Most, most people out there that's running wreck and stuff like that. They don't have a huge, huge big. Most people are running six, eight, six, nine builds inside the wreck because they want to be able to shoot lights out. They want to be able to defend. They would somewhat want to be able to have clamps on their build the whole nine. All right. 
but like i was saying man if you guys want the best jump shot i'm gonna go ahead and show you my my animation you want the best jump shot 98 rudy rudy on the fastest 50 50 for the blending is where it's at um if you guys want to curry slide and stuff like that um these are the dribbles that i have on my build you know what i'm saying if you want to check them out as far as my layups and dunks go don't look at those i'm actually um transitioning and to um getting different packages for my player since my dunk has gotten higher since i hit 97 overall um and also as far as progression goes this is what my build looks like at 97 overall um i don't i don't know if i can get out the way but yeah these these stats is these stats is crazy see it's a 94 driving dunk 96 midi 93 3 86 ball handling the speed with but it's just a it's a crazy build you know what i'm saying everybody know about this build um as far as the badges go my badges are completely maxed out definitely try this jump shot out you know what i'm saying look somebody took my god darn court i wanted to show you guys some more of these jump shots man they they doing a 1v1 they probably they probably betting right now little boy boy sauce oh right by him ooh. you know what let me get up out of here man but listen like i said 98 rudy rudy fastest speed 50 50 percent um and again i'm gonna show you guys this before i get up out of here man make sure you have vibration off trigger effect off shot meter off shot aiming off and make sure when you coming down here mess with your defense a little bit and mess with your passing a little bit i'm telling you it's a, it's a small thing the small things that help but for the most part when it comes to this shot turn that meter off i know that there's people out there that want to follow the meter but it's just it's way too much latency when it comes to trying to follow that meter man and i don't want you guys out here being meter made all right i don't want you coming in my comment section saying yo pod i want to play and then we go to the park and you sell me because you got your meter on you're not gonna sell me i'll sell you before you sell me you understand but i want to thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you on the next video peace